Hey there, good day. My name is Bobinet El Malinis, and today we're gonna perform an experiment on determining the texture of soil. In this experiment, we're going to perform this in my backyard here in 22 JP Keanu Street, Poblacion Uno, Oroqueta City in Misamis Occidental. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you a montage of the place that I'm going to collect my samples. Okay, let's start the experiment. Okay, so let's do the experiment. So we have our soil sample here. We have some water and we have some protective paper right here just to put the soil. Okay, so now let's start. Let's start the experiment first. So the first thing we're going to do here in this experiment is that we will get some soil. Okay, we will get some soil and we're gonna make a what you call this, we're gonna make a ribbon, a ribbon made out of soil by kneading it with our fingers. Okay, as stated in the experiment. So then, in kneading it, we're gonna put just a bit of water, just a bit. Okay, add a little bit more, and we'll make a ribbon. Okay, the ribbon. Well, if we can make a ribbon that is strong, that is flexible and does not break, so we can call this a clay. So we'll see first if we can make a clay out of this. Let's try. Okay, so now I have created a, uh, what you call this, a ribbon out of soil. So let's put it vertically and we'll try to see if it does break or if it's flexible in three two one okay as I try to roll try to wave it, it breaks as you can see it does break but let's try to see if we can make a ball out of this okay and if it is strong okay, let's make a ball As you can see here, we can make a ball that is strong. See, it doesn't break. It's still firm. Look at this, it's firm. So, even though the ribbon breaks, it's not that flexible and it easily breaks, we can still make a ball that is strong and firm. It's for trial one. Well, I try to make a strong ribbon that is flexible and cannot be easily be broken. But unfortunately, when I try to swing the ribbon on those three trials, the ribbon broke and it fell to the ground. So I can say that it is not eligible that that, that soil is a clay soil. But when I try to make a coherent ball, I, when I try to make a ball that is strong and firm, I, in those three trials, I was able to make three strong and firm and coherent balls so i can therefore conclude that the soil in my backyard is a clay loam